I am Sima Hedri. I am from Afghanistan, 23 years old. I born here in Afghanistan, but I'm living in Finland. So I came to start my snowboard from our country, from Afghanistan. So I want to be a good snowboarder, and I wish one day I I can teach our Afghan girls in Afghanistan. <laughs> The third annual Afghan Ski Challenge had participants from eight countries and, for the first time, a new race for Afghan women. Most had spent just a few days ever on skis. Okay, we have number 19 going now. Three, two, one, go! Seven of the female racers were locals from Bamiyan. Heidri, originally from Ghazni, south of Kabul, came from Finland through her parents' home in Herat. Her father advised she fly to avoid potentially dangerous roads, but she had other ideas. Actually, I wanted to see the Taliban, that how they are, what they are doing, when they are stopping. So, we came by car. Yeah and the Taliban stop and they are checking. On that time, I'm feeling scary, but uh, I'm not feeling that much scary <laughs> to not move. In the 1990s, Heidi's ethnic Hazara minority, who claim Bamiyan as a cultural capital, were openly targeted by the Taliban. She spent her childhood as a refugee of the Afghan civil war, first in Iran, then Pakistan. On that time, girls are at home they they cannot study and and but my father was like so open minded and the person who went to school uh, for study in our in our family that was me yeah and uh, the father my father never said to me that to stop study or stop um, sports i think that uh, the women should be free they should not be inside of any cloth or they should not show their face or they should not um, wear um, that kind of cloth that they want. So I do what I want. <laughs> hey, Hedri says she was encouraged by the other women challengers. Yesterday I was I was a little bit tired and I was sitting. One of them said that why oh, you are so lazy, let's try. Yeah, but they are injured or legs, pain legs or many things, but they are still keep practicing and practicing. I think it means a lot for them. <laughs> Eidiri says she chose the snowboard as a kind of family bonding. Her husband Ali was the lone snowboarder among 30 contestants the day before at the main event in the mountains of nearby Shaydan. Organizers say they're developing on the fly and are already planning a bigger and better ski festival for next year. Those in the Afghan tourism industry say this helps promote Bamiyan as an all-season destination. Their message is clear. It is not that much bad place. Actually, it's good place. It's not the place to die. Adam Valen Levinson, Al Jazeera, Bamiyan.